Tonight, a plane carrying vice presidential candidate Mike Pence just slid off the runway at New York's LaGuardia Airport. And we just got exclusive video from inside of the plane. The very first images of what was going on as the aircraft carrying Governor Pence and the press pool slid down the tarmac, unable to stop. Welcome to the Kelly File, everyone. I'm Megan Kelly. You're looking at brand new pictures of the moment a plane carrying the vice presidential nominee on the GOP ticket slid off the runway at New York's LaGuardia Airport on a rainy night here in Manhattan. In just a moment, we are going to hear from the Fox News producer who was on board that plane about the governor's actions. As this happened, he shot this exclusive video. But first, we go to Trace Gallagher, who's at the breaking news desk with what we know. Trace? We should know, Megan, that the 737, which touches down around 120 miles per hour, was, according to that same producer, Dan Gallo, coming in kind of hot. He was on board the plane, and then he says it began skidding. And to quote him, he says it was the craziest landing he's ever experienced. He smelled burning rubber before it finally came to rest in the grass at the end of the runway. We are told that Mike Pence then came to the back of the plane to see that everyone on board was okay. The planes we're talking about kind of use a combination of brakes and reverse thrusters. But one of the reasons you don't see 747s flying in and out of LaGuardia is because the runways are not that long. This runway is about 7,000 feet. That's about 3,000 feet shorter than you'd find at Newark or JFK. Now, as a rule, 737s only need about 4,000 feet. But when you talk about rainy weather like they have tonight in LaGuardia, that clearly changes the math. It's hard to tell when you look at the pictures from which angle and which direction the the plane came in, but remember, anybody who's flown in and out of LaGuardia knows they have water at the end of the runways. This plane slid only as far as the grass, and the passengers stayed on the plane for about 10 minutes before rescue teams arrived. They brought down the exit. Everybody walked off board. The governor reportedly was traveling with campaign advisors, the media, as we said, as well as his wife and daughter. We're told that Donald Trump did reach out to Mike Pence and says that he's glad everyone on board is safe. There appears, if you look at the plane, there appears to be some damage to the runway, but no noticeable damage to the airplane itself. But this plane's not leaving for a while, Megan. Wow. Trace, thank you. Joining us now with more, Dan Gallo. He's the Fox News producer traveling with Governor Pence, and he was on that plane and shot that video we've just been looking at together. Dan, thanks for joining us tonight by phone. So was it obvious when the plane was landing that you were in trouble? Well, you know, I've mentioned to some other people tonight that we've had some really interesting landings in this plane. Um, I can't explain why they've been really rough landings. But, so we've kind of gotten used to that. Um, this one felt like we were being pulled off to the side. And it, it's frankly a sensation that I've never felt before in landing. It didn't feel right. Um, I don't know aircraft that well. I just knew that it didn't feel right. But then again, I couldn't see much outside of the window of the plane, so I couldn't really tell if we were in the grass, if we were going sideways on the runway or whatever. But it definitely felt like it was pulling to one side. And, um, and then it, it came to a really abrupt stop after it felt like they had been jamming on the brakes for the duration of the landing and then like and any I, good producer you, you took out your cell phone and started filming things once things settled down you can see <laughs> there, there's certainly no panic on board the flight what, what was the first you saw of governor pence i would say about a minute or two after landing he, he walked back and um and asked if everyone was okay and of course everyone was fine i mean we are all wearing our seat belts if we hadn't been wearing our seat belts it, it could have been a, a problem um, but everyone was fine. Uh, I made it I, as he was walking away. I said, <laughs> Governor Pence, 2016, because it feels like this was all, you know, everything else has happened in 2016. Why not this? <laughs> and so were you did you did you have to go down the emergency slide to get out? I mean, how did you exit the aircraft? No, no sliding. We waited for several minutes. Uh, we could see emergency lights outside the windows of the plane. Couldn't see a whole lot because the rain was uh, kind of fogging up the, the windows of the plane. But, um, but yeah, we, we walked down the stairs. Somehow they got stairs to us, and we walked down where there was emergency personnel outside the plane. Great. So everyone is okay, including the governor, including you. Glad to hear it. And as you say, Dan Gallo, 2016. We've, <laughs> we've experienced that, too. Great to see I got you, Dan. Some, I got some mud on my shoes after tonight. Great to hear from you. All the best Thanks. to you. Glad to hear everyone's all right. 
Also breaking tonight, with just 12 days until Americans elect their next president, there is growing pressure on Hillary Clinton to respond to the latest leaked campaign emails. These notes detail the most lucrative time in Bill and Hillary Clinton's careers, the years after they left the White House. And while Mrs. Clinton served as Secretary of State, a new WikiLeaks release revealing a memo written by Clinton Foundation executive Doug Band. In it, Doug Band details what he... This is the first fully automated plane flown by a computer. A California wildfire becomes a killer. A passerby shot amateur video showing the wings fall off a C-130 tanker plane just before it plunges to the ground. All three people on board were killed. После этого я и летчик увидели стаю человек впереди поднимавшись штук шесть восемь. Через секунду они пролетели слева от кабины экипажа и дальше попали в левый двигатель. И начала самолет клинить влево с потерей высоты. Думали, что полосы нам не хватит для торможения. Поэтому мы влево начали отворачивать. Потом начались вот эти вот удары, знакопеременные перегрузки. И потом еще более страшный удар. Oh my god. 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 Oh my